Hi everyone, I'm hopeful that all you will be fine. In the last session, we have learned how you can actually create the LinkedIn OAuth app on our LinkedIn marketplace and how you can actually get the app credentials, how you can actually configure the authorization URL and how you can actually apply the OAuth flow and get the authorization code. In this session, we will learn how you can actually exchange that authorization code and get the access and refresh tokens. Okay. So for that, we first need to stop the API and then we need to build the payload first. Okay. So inside the payload, we have uh, query parameters which are required where we are going to requesting or exchanging the authorization code. So first parameter, we need to set inside the payload called client ID. Okay. And we will get the client ID from the process.env.client ID. And we also need to bind client secret. We also get that from environment variable. So it is a client secret. We need to re verify that. Copy, paste it here. And we need to set the redirect URI. And we will get that also from the environment variable. So we need to first copy this and paste it here. Then we need to get the redirect URI environment variable name and paste it here. Okay. Then we need to set the grant type. So the grant type is the authorization code. Okay. And then we need to set code. We need to build the query string from this payload so for that we need to import a package called qs we need to import the query string okay and then we also need to install a package called axios so we say npm i axios so that we can exchange this authorization code package is installed successfully now we need to import that package here. So we say axios require axios. And here we need to say const data await. We need to set async await. And then we need to call axios. Inside the axios, we first need to bind the URL. We need to copy the space endpoint from our authorization URL. We need to paste that here. We need to remove the relative path authorization to access token. Then we need to set the method and the method will be post. And then we need to set headers. Okay. Inside the headers, we need to set the content type. And the content type must be xww form url encoded so you must be set this to url encoded as a content type header okay if you missing this header then you will get an error okay so must be pretty sure regarding that now we need to build this payload as a query string so for that we need to change this string to string interpolation and here now we need to use the dollar symbol and then we need to call qs.stickify and we need to set the payload okay and this payload will be built as a query string now we need to bind then response here we need to return response age say error we need to return error semicolon from here we need, need to return data need to format the code and now we need to place a breakpoint here and also here okay and need to start the api navigate back to the browser we need to set a local host for 4000 slash api linkedin authorize we need to authorize sign in we need to click on allow we will wait and you can see we are successfully inside the response and once you have a response inside the data you can see you have access token expiry and the scopes okay inside the config you can see the url is built with the query parameters okay
So I'm hopeful that you have enjoyed this session. If you have any query regarding this session, then just please place your queries inside the video comment section. Either you can share your queries and suggestions by my shared contact details. Hopefully we will come back with another session. Take care. Bye-bye.